And going back to the world of Spawn and Witchblade with crossovers, I got Medieval Spawn and Witchblade from 2018. This I bought a few years back and never read it. I left it sit in the damn sleeve for a while. I was like, you know, fuck it, I don't want to read it. It's Image and Top Cow. Beautiful crossover deal with these two. I love them so much. And the pages for this are silky smooth. Oh, baby. And the art. Oh, my God. The motherfucking art. Oh, shit. I have to scroll up. <laughs> Oops. Oopies. Yeah. My bad. Hold on. There we go. Better. Up. There. Perfect. I forgot to fix that. <laughs> my bad. So this one, oh, this is good. I've covered the original 96 outing on the channel as well. So if you want to know more about that, you can go check that out in the meantime. They don't um, connect to each other. So bummer on that, but it's still cool. So this was spectacular and I love my crossover. So yeah, for 2024, this is my top favorite crossover next to Terminator Robocop Kill Humans. Easily. So easily. This is way better than the original outing in 96. The art is incredible throughout and no pace dragon either. Like most of them like this would drag on, but this don't. Wouldn't mind seeing this become an animated film, but it won't happen, which is so shitty. Because this is the age of CBMs, and you would think that, you know, with Invincible taking off on Amazon Prime and shit, they would jump at the chance to... I love this helmet. I need it. <laughs> they would jump at the chance to make some Spawn animated films. Like, the animated series was good, and the original movie is good, too. So, God tier shit. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Y'all want to shit on that movie? Y'all gonna be eating it. <laughs> so, the plot twist of who Medieval Spawn was shocked me good. Like, it did. Lee, it was everybody, oh, Awan thought it was King Valen, but it was actually his friend Leaf, and Valen was enslaved by the Trinity of Evil Queens. Yeah. Seahawk was cool, and props on having him blind. Like, that was so good. I love that. Actually, let me show you his eyes. Because I like how they did blind eyes in this. Like, where is it? That's a good one. But there's actually a better shot of his face that I liked. Uh, but yeah, this is so damn good. Starling was good too. Seeing her wield the witch blade was nice. As I mentioned before, the original outing. I like the different versions of Witchblade, because each version gives you something new to fuck with. And actually, this part here reminds me of Claymore now that I'm watching it. Or watching. Reviewing it. <sighs> Everything plays like a movie for me. <laughs> it just does. Um, yeah, each version of Witchblade, always something fun to offer. Same with Spawn. I gotta catch up on Spawn, actually. Still. Uh, her intro is pretty solid, where she can wield the gauntlet with bursts of bright light. This is the best fucking story ever. Like, damn. Uh, so, so damn good. And just the detail on this shit. Oh, I love the damn details. Not only did it feel like a Sunday afternoon sci-fi channel original gem. Yeah, it has that energy to it, that feel. It, the creature designs were immaculate, so immaculate, so yeah, that's a good one, because you can see his people and irises, I love that, absolutely love that shit, oh, it's so good, I fucking love this shit in comics, with the details and that feel, that energy, mm. one of the best crossovers this year, top crossover for this year. Hands down. Solid 11 out of 10. It truly captures the mystique of medieval times. And I definitely want his helmet. It's too fucking cool. 
It just is. It is so fucking cool. But if you hate Spawn, you hate Witchblade, you hate Top Cow and Image, it's not for you. But if you happen to enjoy these things, they are definitely for you. And if you're looking for a good medieval story that you've never read before and you wanted to try it out, get this. Look at that motherfucker. Look at that. Look. That's fucking sick. Oh. So goddamn good. And I think what makes this truly unique is that Starling didn't transform or anything, as the usual witch blades do. Like, she's just a kid. And I love that. I, I love that aspect of it. So good. And there's what Leaf looks like healed. Because, see, he got sent to the future out of Malbolge's grasp, so he's safe. And you have the gallery... With all these cool covers and shit. So beautiful. That's one of my favorites. That was on my phone for a while as a wallpaper. But just the depth of these covers. Oh, so much energy to them. Uh, oh, there we go. That feels good. You got great lighting. You got good atmospheres. Good tones. Good palettes. This is absolutely amazing. So, that is what I have for tonight. So, I'll be back when the hell ever. And I will have even more fun content. So, till next time. Like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.